Number 10. Five Brain Kami no Puzzle Kaito Damon would be a completely average high school student except for one thing. He's a demon at solving puzzles. Kaito is so brilliant in fact that when he's asked to take some special test of his unique ability, he immediately suspects that the test itself is a test. Kaito suddenly finds himself caught up in a lethal philosopher's puzzle made by the sinister group Pog, a murderous maze of trap upon trap where failing to solve the secret correctly will result in death. Fortunately, Kaido's skills prove up to the first test, both for himself and his childhood friend Nanahoa, who is also caught up in the deadly scheme. But now that he has been designated as a solver, he is pulled into a new life where he must travel the world with other solvers, attempting to solve the latest deadly riddles left by Pog. There's a new conundrum around every corner, and each deception could lead to death. But once a riddle has been posed, you can count on Kaido to unfold, unravel, and unlock it. Number 9. Blue Avores 60 years ago, a strange case of insomnia struck the population, forcing them to stay awake for more than a full week. The victims, completely sleep deprived, all went mad. To cure this illness, a new medicine was produced, but the side effects turned the patients into vampires. Humanity went to war against this new species and triumphed, but some of the vampires managed to survive. Born from a human and a vampire, the main character Mi Lu, the child of hope, is to represent the new hope that will connect the two species. Ringleader of a bank robbery, Mi Lu is arrested and transferred to a special prison of the National Defense Agency that monitors vampires. Trying to break free with Anji, Mi Lu is attacked by strange monsters, and he finds out that the prison location corresponds to the birthplace of vampires, the old capital, Blue Town. Why are vampires trapped in Blue Town? What are those strange monsters attacking them? Our heroes must fight to solve these mysteries. Number 8. Asura Kryon Natsume Tomoharu is a normal high school student in every way, with one exception. He's being followed by the ghost of his best friend, Misao. After moving into his brother's old house, Tomoharu expects to continue living his normal life, but is one day left with a mysterious and locked briefcase without any instruction. At first, he plans to leave it in storage. However, his house is soon invaded by multiple groups of people after the briefcase. Although still not knowing the purpose of the briefcase, Tomoharu and Misao attempt to escape with it. From there on, Tomoharu tries to learn the secrets behind the briefcase, the connections between it and Misao, and why it has the power to change the world. Number 7. Lord of Vermilion, Gurren no O. Set in Tokyo, it's January 29th, 2030. High frequency resonance is observed in the vicinity of Tokyo, and the red fog rolls into the city. Those who hear the sound, humans and animals alike, pass out, losing consciousness. Everything shuts down in Tokyo, believing that the fog is carrying an unknown virus that causes an epidemic. However, six days later, after the incident, people wake up as if nothing happened. After that, Tokyo's sealed off city sections gradually return to normal. However, since the high frequency resonance, some bizarre events start to happen, and people find themselves being pulled deeper into more mysteries. Meanwhile, young people start to become aware of themselves and release their power hidden in their blood, discovering themselves as a vessel of wisdom blood. Together, being led by something unknown, they meet, communicate, and face the unavoidable circle of fate, sacrificing their own lives. Number 6. Yozakura Quartet The world of Yozakura Quartet is not actually one, but two worlds, one of humans and one of yokai. Despite appearing mostly human, yokai may have animal-like physical traits, along with a number of special abilities. Normally, yokai are confined to their own world, but some have found their way into the realm of humanity. As a symbol of peace and a bridge between the two realms, a city was constructed within the protective barrier of seven magical trees, otherwise known as the Seven Pillars. The city of Sakura Shin is home to both humans and yokai, with the peace between them maintained by the Hizumi Life Counseling Office. The director of this office is Akina Hizumi, a teenager with the inherited family ability to perform tuning, which can send harmful yokai back to their world permanently. 
He is aided by a group of girls, including the town's 16-year-old mayor, Himeyari Sakura, their town's announcer and resident telepath, Ayo Nanami, and Kota Hiisune, a half-yokai who can summon objects just by stating the object's name. Number 5. Sugumomo in Japanese folklore, a Tsukumogami is an object that has gained a soul, becoming alive and self-aware. There are two types of Tsukumogami, the mature Tsukumomo who have developed through long years of harmony with their owners, and the aberrant Amasogi, premature spirits that are only born to grant the destructive wishes of certain people. Kazuya Kagami has never gone without his mother's obi after her death. Be it at home or at school, he keeps it safe with him at all times. One day, he nearly loses his life when a wig Amasogi attacks him. When all seems to be over, his treasured Obi defends him, transforming into a beautiful girl. She introduces herself as Kirihia, a Sugumomo owned by Kazuya's mother. With Kirihia's arrival, Kazuya enters a reality he has never seen before, a world with gods and Sukumogami. Number 4. Taboo Tattoo Seigi, a martial arts trained middle schooler, often feels driven to protect the weaker people around him. One day, he defends a homeless man against some punks, and the man gives him a strange tattoo on his palm in return. The tattoo is a secret weapon produced in the arms race between America and the Serenistan Kingdom. Seigi finds himself in over his head when a powerful girl, using the same secret weapon, violently pursues him in order to retrieve it. His skills at martial arts may not be enough to keep him alive, but will he be able to learn how to trigger the power of his tattoo in time? Number 3. Nanbaka Nanba is the world's most formidable prison, built to incarcerate criminals who are too slippery to stay in ordinary confinement. The four inmates who occupy cell 13 are particularly cunning on that behalf, having escaped every other prison with a perfect success rate. There is Jugo, a specialist in locks who has spent the majority of his life in prison, Uno, a gambler with a great intuition, Nico, an otaku whose body reacts strangely to drugs, and Rock, a bruiser with a love for food. The daily shenanigans of the four prisoners always cause trouble for the building supervisor, Hajime Sogoroku, who desperately tries to prevent them from breaking out of Nanba. Nanbaka follows the comedic, sparkle-filled exploits of these prisoners and their guards. From three square meals a day to sports festivals, prison life in Nanba isn't actually that bad, and it's the closest thing these four have to a home. Number 2. Modao Zushi Jian, the state of immortality that all cultivators strive to achieve. However, there is a dark energy that lies underneath, the forbidden Modao, or demonic path. Through an unfortunate series of tragedies, this is the path that cultivator Wei Wuxian experiments with during his teachings. His rise to power is accompanied by chaos and destruction, but his reign of terror comes to an abrupt end when the cultivation clans overpower him and he is killed by his closest ally. Thirteen years later, Wei Wuxian is reincarnated in the body of a lunatic and is reunited with Lang Wangji, a former classmate of his. This marks the beginning of a supernatural mystery that plagues the clans and threatens to disrupt their everyday life. Zenkyu no Terror Painted in red, the word Von is all that is left behind after a terrorist attack on a nuclear facility in Japan. The government is shattered by their inability to act, and the police are left frantically searching for ways to crack down the perpetrators. The public are clueless, until six months later, a strange video makes its way onto the internet. In it, two teenage boys who identify themselves only as Finks directly challenge the police, threatening to cause destruction and mayhem across Tokyo. Unable to stop the mass panic quickly spreading through the city and desperate for any leads in their investigation, the police struggle to act effectively against the terrorist, with Detective Kenjiro Shibazaki caught in the middle of it all. Zenkyu no Terror tells the story of 9 and 12, the two boys behind the masked figure of Sphinx. 
They should not exist, yet they stand strong in a world of deception and secrets while they make the city fall around them, all in the hopes of burying their own tragic truth. Alright everyone, that's it for today's video. Did you guys enjoy this list? Or find any anime you're interested in? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments, and please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you're new, remember to turn on notifications for more upcoming top 10 videos.